Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at Cleveland Natural History Museum, and we're here with Dr. Evelyn Gates. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. And congratulations on this big announcement. This, this is really major, isn't it, in the 90-year in the history of the museum? It's, it's the first time we've done anything anywhere near this magnitude. It is so exciting. It's time for this museum. We have so many incredible treasures inside, and we want to find a way to show visitors more of the real science that's going on, let them see the animals in a little bit different lights, and really bring science up to date and, and show the excitement. Talking about excitement, you've got, you've got this great planetarium behind you here. Some of the rest of the building not so exciting <laughs> is talking with folks, right? But you're going to be <laughs> spending, true. what, $125 million you plan on, on renovating? That's all? the project, and that will, that will cover the cost of building some new wings to house our exhibits and our research labs and our collections. It will include uh, new exhibits, so all our exhibits are going to be updated, and it will include actually demolishing some of the current spaces to make room for more green space. We want to expand the uh, Animal Perkins Wildlife Center. Awesome. You have, you have so much going on here. I mean, we've, we've been privileged with Cool Cleveland to talk to some of your scientists and get down in the yeah. basement where you've got your 30,000 bones and bird collections and <laughs> just millions of objects, really. All of these now, or a lot of them, are going to be out so that the public can experience them, right? I mean, you, you've hit on it exactly. Some of the most exciting things that go on in the museum are sort of down in the lower levels. We have curators bringing in new discoveries. So uh, Dr. Michael Ryan, our paleontologist, has discovered yet another new dinosaur, named a new dinosaur species, and he brings the field jackets back and down below they're actually working to get the fossils out of the bone in which they've been encased for hundreds of millions of years. And congratulations on this discovery doesn't cover a dinosaur. It doesn't <laughs> and he's he's just amazing he's had six discoveries in the two and a half years that I've been here. No kidding. And what we want to do is actually bring Michael and his work up out of the basement so that as the children are coming in and looking at the dinosaur fossils they're actually seeing somebody at work still discovering dinosaurs to, to give them a, a spark their imaginations about the fact that it's not just that dinosaurs are these really cool things that have been found, they're still being discovered and they might think about doing that in the future too. Dinosaurs are huge for you guys. Kids love the dinosaurs. Yes. We were talking about the little boy explaining to his little sister <laughs> about that. But it's so much more as well. I mean, you've got these 50 photographs here that are still up from National Geographic. They're really very moving. It's a very compelling exhibit. It it's, it's telling the story not just of the photograph but of the photographer and the people he was interacting with or the animals when he took the photos it's, it's very moving you've got that up until uh, January 13th and the whales to horror oh. also is closing on January 27th what an amazing, what an amazing I, you know, I really hope people come down to see that it yeah. is one of the the richest the most intriguing exhibits um, anywhere in, in the world and it came to us from New Zealand and it's just fascinating. So if you're an adult and interested in the interaction between whales and Maori culture, um, beautiful, beautiful artifacts. And if you're under about this uh, height, you've got a, a, a life-size blue whale heart that you can actually crawl into. Whoa. It's, it's really cool. That's, that's cool. And then you've got coming up very soon in January, Mystery uh, of the Mayan Medallion. That sounds really interesting. Yes, a chance to sort of play science detective. And uh, it's this wonderful exhibit that will actually take you through the process of discovery, and there's a little mystery added in. Cool. And then uh, in March, the uh, largest shark that ever lived. Megalodon. So <laughs> it's got a cool it, name too. It, Megalodon has got a great <laughs> name. It is the you know this giant, giant prehistoric shark. So I'm really hoping that uh, people have a chance to come down and see for themselves uh, what they might have encountered in the ancient seas. You are a uh, physician, particle physician, uh, physicist, physicist yes. right, <laughs> and with a PhD, and, and you've got so many scientists here on staff, so much expertise here. Yes. Who are you expecting to get involved in this whole project of renovation? I mean, is the general public going to be involved at some point? Because yes. I'm sure you have a lot of donors now coming through and helping out. We are we are a community or institution. This museum belongs to all of Northeast Ohio and all of the visitors that come here and we want to make sure that we're creating the kind of exhibits and the, the facilities that will invite people to come in and explore science and that means uh, 
working with the community to help develop some of the ways we want to present the science. So we will be uh, keeping people up to date throughout the whole process and having certain opportunities for people to give us their feedback on what they'd like to see. Talk quickly about your plans because we've seen some real big changes here for the entranceway behind Huge you. Huge changes. So what we want to do, we are going to be building a new wing out towards uh, Jephthah Drive over that way, another new wing over where our current parking lot is because that will house all, these two wings will house all of the exhibits, the labs, the research uh, itself so we can interweave them, really show you the exciting science. Wow. And then we're going to highlight the planetarium, which is absolutely gorgeous with this beautiful metallic skin on it. will be part of the interior. You'll be able to get a little closer and yet see through the new glass lobby and entrance hall so that it's, it's sort of showcasing one of the jewels. And then a new lobby. We need to have a, a big dramatic entrance for the museum to, so that when you're walking or driving by in Wade Oval, you see one of our giant dinosaurs right. almost beckoning you to <laughs> right. come in. That is going to be so cool. I don't know how much better University Circle can get. We talked uh, last time about the changes fantastic. since you had gone to school here at Case yes. that you noticed in University Circle. And it's just gone over over the cliff it's, since then even. It's, it's, been, it's been getting better and better. In the summers, Wade Oval Wednesdays, uh, there might be 5,000 people here listening to music, uh, having you know dinner from some of the vendors that are around here, and then exploring the institutions. It's a dynamic, exciting, vibrant place, and it continues to grow. Talk about dynamic and exciting. That describes you. It describes this institution. Thanks for taking time. You're so busy, but you've got so much cool stuff going on here. We do. We can't wait for this. This has been, I know, a long time coming. You had to delay your, your plans, but you're We're off and running. We are ready to go, and it's, it's so exciting for all of us here. We're energized, and thank you for coming down to visit. Thanks, Dr. Gates. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.